Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Is your diet high in essential or non-essential nutrients? In this video, I'll share what are nutrients, what makes a nutrient essential, the best sources of essential nutrients and non-essential nutrients, and recommended dietary allowances versus percent daily value. Let's start with what are nutrients. The primary or macro essential nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, protein, minerals, vitamins, fiber, and water. Plant foods provide all of these essential nutrients. Most animal foods are zero carbohydrate and zero fiber. Plant foods also provide a wide variety of secondary essential nutrients known as phytochemicals. So what makes a nutrient essential? Essential nutrients must come from your diet or from diet and dietary supplements. Non-essential nutrients are nutrients your body makes from other nutrients. Your liver, bone marrow, and intestines use food nutrients to produce hundreds of other nutrients, chemicals, and cells. Four essential nutrients provide energy ranging from 4 kilocalories per gram to 9 kilocalories per gram. These nutrients provide zero calories, but are essential for hundreds of other functions. Phytochemicals from plant foods have antioxidant, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. Most people don't consider water to be an essential nutrient. Your body cannot make water. It must come from your diet and is essential for good health. Whether or not fiber is essential is debatable since there's no RDA, but research shows most people eating high-fiber diets have fewer health problems. Some of the health benefits of fiber include preventing constipation, lowering LDL blood cholesterol, slowing sugar absorption, making you feel fuller longer, and reducing the risk of some cancers and cardiovascular disease. Essential vitamins and minerals come from both animal and plant foods. Even water provides small amounts of essential magnesium, calcium, and sodium. Essential nutrients can come from your diet or from taking dietary supplements. For thousands of years, Food was the only source of essential nutrients. The Greek physician Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine. That's still true today, with a few exceptions. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption, but most foods are low in vitamin D. Your body uses ultraviolet sunlight to convert cholesterol into vitamin D. Today, many people have limited sun exposure. Taking a vitamin D supplement or eating vitamin D fortified foods will prevent a deficiency. In most cases, taking a vitamin or mineral supplement is not the same as getting essential nutrients from foods. A vitamin C supplement provides only vitamin C. Other ingredients include fillers, binders, and in some cases, like chewable tablets, synthetic colors and flavors. When you eat natural foods like broccoli, you get more than one or two vitamins and minerals. A 113 gram serving has 100 milligrams of vitamin C. That may not seem like much compared to the 500 to 1,000 milligrams in many vitamin C supplements. The 100 milligrams in a serving of broccoli exceeds the US RDA of 75 to 90 milligrams. Eating a balanced diet of animal and plant foods provides several times the RDA for vitamin C. That's not the case for low-carb diets like keto and paleo. This keto breakfast provides less than one milligram of vitamin C. 
this keto lunch, four milligrams of vitamin C, and this keto dinner, 20 milligrams of vitamin C, all coming from the zucchini. The 25 milligram daily total for this sample keto diet is well below the 75 to 90 milligram RDA. This poses the question, is a diet healthy if it's deficient in one or more essential nutrients? Regardless of your diet, a simple blood test can check for vitamin and mineral deficiencies. In most cases, a dietary supplement will prevent serious illness due to a vitamin or mineral deficiency. While supplements can prevent serious illness and death, they should not be your primary source of essential nutrients. While very low-carb diets are not a panacea, a variety of plant foods are under attack for many reasons. Plant foods provide more than sugar and starch. In most cases, the problem is not natural sugar and starch. The problem is taking natural carbohydrates and turning them into unnatural foods. This apple pie didn't come from a plant or tree. This high-calorie, low-nutrition banana split did not grow on a banana split tree. This 800 calorie per serving cake did not come from a cake farm. Grains are demonized as deadly, toxic, high starch foods. But many people don't eat high fiber whole grains. They eat high calorie foods like these pancakes made with zero fiber refined wheat and sugar. Most people aren't overweight or obese because they're malnourished. Unlike zero-calorie vitamins and minerals, millions of people eat more carbs, fat, and protein than they need. Active people need more calories. Sedentary people need fewer calories. There's no one-size-fits-all diet to obtain the essential nutrients your body needs. There are medical reasons for eliminating specific foods or food groups from a diet. People with celiac disease must avoid gluten found in wheat, barley, rye, and other grains. Allergens prevent some people from eating specific foods like fish or seafood. A common allergen is proteins in peanuts and tree nuts. Many plant foods are low-calorie, high-essential-nutrient superfoods. Use caution when considering any diet plan that bans one or more foods or food groups and requires a variety of proprietary dietary supplements. Ask yourself, does this diet plan benefit me or them? Essential nutrients provide the energy, vitamins, and minerals your body needs. Millions of people eat what they want, not what their bodies need. Like more added than natural sugars. Even so-called healthy beverages are little more than sugar water. In addition to diets providing non-essential calories, Many prepared foods provide non-essential excess sodium. This large breakfast biscuit has 2,000 milligrams of sodium, 87% of the RDA. People crave salty foods because our bodies need salt. Most foods have naturally occurring salt. The problem is not natural salt in foods. Like added sugars, it's added salt in foods. Even sweet foods have added salt. This apple pie has 410 milligrams of sodium. The sodium comes from salt, sodium sterol lactylate, sodium propionate, and sodium benzoate. A high sodium diet can increase the risk of developing high blood pressure. High blood pressure is known as a silent killer because it produces no symptoms until a person has a heart attack or stroke.
Alcohol is another non-essential nutrient. Alcohol has 7 calories per gram, second only to fat. Alcohol is an addictive toxin your liver must remove. Drinking too much alcohol can cause permanent liver damage. Any health benefits from alcoholic beverages comes from plant polyphenols like resveratrol, not from alcohol. With a few exceptions, most over-the-counter dietary supplements are non-essential, having no proven health benefits. Most essential nutrients have a recommended dietary allowance. RDAs are based on average daily level of intake sufficient to meet the nutrition requirements of nearly all healthy individuals. The key words are healthy individuals. To help consumers compare essential nutrients in prepared foods and dietary supplements, the FDA requires listing percent daily values based on RDAs. RDAs and daily values don't apply to people who are overweight or have chronic diseases. The RDA and daily value for sodium is for healthy adults, not adults with high blood pressure, have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, or have cancer or are on chemotherapy. Not all nutrients have an RDA or daily value. Nutrients with no percent daily value means its function has not been scientifically identified. That means the nutrient is found in blood and urine samples, but it's not known what role it plays or how much is needed. The RDA for some essential nutrients depends on your age, weight, and activity level. Protein is one example. The RDA for a healthy adult under 55 is 0.4 grams per pound of body weight, about 60 grams for a 150 pound person. Some high protein diets recommend one or more grams per pound or 150 grams a day for a 150 pound person. So which is right for you? 0.4 or one gram per pound? If you're a professional athlete, you may need one gram of protein per pound. If you're a healthy adult couch potato under 55 years old, 0.4 gram of protein per pound may be all you need. Protein has four calories per gram. Excess protein is converted to body fat, not lean muscle cells. To add muscle, you must use your muscles. The more muscle mass you have, the more protein you need to maintain it. Some essential nutrient facts are that they can come from your diet or dietary supplements. Natural foods are the best source for essential nutrients. RDA and daily values apply to healthy adults. And exercise builds muscle, not high protein diets. Essential nutrient myths include, if a little is good, a lot more is better. Everyone needs one or more grams of protein per pound of body weight. Dietary supplements are essential regardless of your diet. And my proprietary dietary supplements are superior to anything on the market. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.